Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea. Today <laughs> I was planning to do a different video, but mistakenly I, I grabbed different samples. Now it's all straightened up, but um, I haven't written on top of the actual samples what the product was, and I thought I had grabbed it from uh, the bag that I was supposed to, and I did not. So um, today is a different thing, but what we're doing, just to clarify, we're doing uh, Rare Beauty 170D. Um, on this side and then we're doing the um, uh, hourglass ambient uh, foundation the new one the um, glow soft glow foundation and it's 3.5 this one is 170 w 3.5 so yeah it's just sometimes things happen and uh, do the best that you can so we're gonna put this two to the test and you can see actually um, how they do against each other in case you were wondering you know, for the time being, my face is really, 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 really flaky. Uh, it's uh, It still produces oils, but it's also dry. And so it's like all over the place. Uh, it makes no sense. I know. Trust me. I know. I deal with it. But <laughs> hopefully I can get a handle of this on this flakiness soon because it's just really driving me nuts. So anyways, if you're wondering what these two are... Uh, alike like or they're if they're like different or how they are different because they actually are different um uh, here it goes i'm gonna go ahead and just put it side to side on the um both sides of my cheeks and then uh we're just gonna go ahead and kind of blend it uh right from a bat from the bat i can tell that this one which is the rare beauty it's a little more warm than the dior dior is a little less warm it's still on the warm side but it's definitely less warm all right so um before we start um blending before i forget i already have the sunscreen on it's the madagascar centella from skin 1004 uh, it's physical sunscreen so just trying different things yeah this one is so much more liquidy this one is thicker so they they definitely perform not perform they feel differently I'm gonna go ahead and put them underneath my eyes and everything. My skin is quite dry lately. I quite am flaking and all that. Hmm. Looks like the Dior is taking a little longer to blend. It is, um, like I said, it is liquidy, -er, so of course it's gonna spread more. This one, not as much. This one already set. Ooh. Looking in the mirror there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to get some more. Definitely go a little bit at a time. You don't wanna put in too much and then, you know, try to deal with it, you know, because it's making it harder to blend if you put too much in or to spread and all that, so. Especially if it sets really quickly like this one did. See, I can still work on this one while this one is just not, doesn't wanna move because it's just set in there. I always have like a redness underneath my nose. So we'll see which one does better. Oh gosh, my face look very, very dry. Then I take a mirror and actually look at it. No, gosh darn it. I didn't take the one that I was supposed to. What the? Okay, hold on. Let's see this. This is not that one. This is actually... Um, Hourglass, shoot. Okay, hourglass versus what is this one? B. This is the rare beauty. Rare beauty, but it's against hourglass. Hmm. Okay, not what I expected to do here. Are we going with it? Let me see here. Oh gosh. Let me uh, just show you real quick. So I have Hourglass here and Rare Beauty here. Now, because I have dry skin and it's not just dry, but it's flaky. Uh, when I started blending it, I saw that right away, but um, sometimes it kind of gets better as you mix it, as you blend it, but not this one. Okay, so 
we can tell my skin on this side looks worse than it does on this side. So hourglass here and red um, rare beauty here, uh, you can tell it shows more dryness, more um, flakes. Like the color just kind of stopped in the in the in the dry parts of my face and the dry skin. Even though I can still move it because it's you know it's it hasn't set. Um, it definitely and it definitely um, doesn't look as good as this one. Now this one on the other side, it's set kind of like pretty much right away. I need to do, I do need to take a, a like a little brush. I'm gonna take this one from Angie Hot and Flashy A506 and just go in the crevices of my nose. Oh gosh. Like the skin, when you have flaky skin, it's a total different application and look. I mean, ah, oh, that just looks awful in there on the nose. Almost looks like I have something and I don't have anything there. But skin, dry, dry flakes. Hmm. Yeah. Not so good. Not so good. I'm gonna come in close up, maybe you can tell. You see these like dry spots and then on the nose. Um, there's a bunch here. Yeah, not really nice. Now on this side, there is flakes as well. I mean, you can tell that the uh, coverage is kind of, the foundation kind of stuck in there, but it definitely looks like less flaky than this side. Are we saying this? So accidentally, but we're gonna go with it. Uh, we're gonna test this two together. So, um, I'm actually really surprised because when I wore this one yesterday, it didn't wear it didn't wear that that good. Um, it kind of got oily, but maybe because I have flaky skin, it works better. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm gonna. I feel like I need a tiny bit of coverage here, so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my fingers and just place it exactly where I need it. Okay, here we go. Well, the coverage is definitely better now. Still have the flakes, of course. Go just a tiny bit on the nose here, because it seems like it really has not covered much on the nose. And then I'm gonna go up here too, whatever is left. If you wanna wear a um, concealer, wear a concealer, but I kinda like to test the foundations up here too. It's not everybody uses a concealer really. I just pull down on the coverage just to kind of blend it down and make it one with my neck. You can tell my neck is also flaky. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this and see, figure out why is it so flaky lately. All right, well, I'm just gonna let it be because I'm not seeing any anything getting better. I'm just making the flakes even more visible. If I can just stop messing with it. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, not very good look with the flaky skin. But what are you gonna do, you know? Uh, sometimes it is what it is. I'm gonna wipe my hands real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. So everything is on, but I wanna show you how it looks. So um, having flaky skin is no joke. So for you gals and girls and boys out there that have flaky skin, I really feel for you because this is what we deal with when, when that happens, you know, whether it's too much retinoin or what is it, too much exfoliation or just the weather itself, you know, changing of the seasons or too much AC or too much heat, that can dry out your skin and make it flaky. Like so this is what we're dealing with right now. Um, looking at from before and then now after with all of the makeup on, I can tell that this side acted much better 
than this side with it. So I'm gonna come in close. I'm gonna start with the forehead. We're gonna start there. So you can tell there's more flakiness up here. You can see the actual um, skin. I think it's just the, the, the flakies. It just settles on the flakes and it just really accentuates it because of the coloring of the um, foundation. So compared to these, it's not, it's not as much as it is here. It is still, but not as much. Now, if we go down on the hairline, usually things are really showing on my hairline and they do mostly on this side because the skin is so dry. Uh, some here as well, but not, it, it's not as in your face as it is this side where the um, uh, bronzer and the blush is because it's a darker color kind of covers that up um, it looks better <laughs> uh, but foundation itself when there's nothing messed with so if we look up here on the jawline you can tell there's a bunch of like roughness there there's a bunch of uh, flake is and you can really tell the difference in color uh, versus here to where here it looks like it's more all together like it's not that many flakes yeah your skin is dry yeah. but not flaky like this and then the nose and the middle of the the face so um starting from up here the skin up here on the um bridge of my nose and going down on the nose so much more on this side it shows more than it is showing here do we see that? Oh, and then underneath here, on my upper lip, same here. So overall, even in the crystal, let me show you this. See, because I make expressions and whatever, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> um, there's like, right in there, it's settled in. There's very little here. And I make like expressions here too. There's very little here, here, and here. I don't even know if you can tell that, if you can if you can really tell. Because it's so minuscule. But definitely around the nose, underneath here, there's just so, um, so much more flaking showing and it's more accentuated and it's more um, in your face. So, um, so far, this one shows the most, this one not as much, this one being the, um, Oh gosh, the uh, hourglass. So hourglass versus the rare beauty, which uh, I'm so bummed about this one. When I had skin where it was not flaky, this one did amazing. Yeah, like this one did amazing too, but this one really did good. Um, it wore nice and all that. It, it held onto, um, onto the, um, the oils really didn't come through to where this one uh i noticed that there was more oils come through um as the day went by especially by the end of the day but um let's not get ahead of ourselves we'll come uh, i'm gonna come again um come back in about three to four hours and then at the end of the day to figure out how and who and what wears the best for this particular skin type you know so uh it's gonna be an eye opening and uh, really interesting to see. I'm not gonna mess with it, but before I go though, I'm gonna try to make it look nice because I've got errands to run today and it really looks not nice. So let's see if I can. Oh gosh, no, okay. That's worse, I should stop. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay guys, I'm gonna go like that, but um, you know what, so what? It's, it's fine, it's whatever. Um, yeah, I will see you guys about three, four, three to four hours and uh, we'll check it out and see how it actually looks. Here's some swatches of the foundation side by side. I'm going to do, let's see, we'll do um, Rare Beauty because it's on this side. We'll do it here. Yeah. yeah. Here. And then the other one on this side, the um, Hourglass. So uh, Rare Beauty is definitely more liquidy. I hope you can tell. Oops, it's wet that. All right, so um, Rare Beauty is definitely liquidy and it pulls a little less warm than uh, the other one, though this one actually pulls warm as well. Both of them pull warm. 
uh, but you can tell that this one from the swatch and all that it's got like almost like more coverage uh, but also um, I don't know kind of I kind of like this better the way it acts um, I'm gonna spread them up on my hand here so I can actually look at them but um, I think the color is better for me right now so that could also you know help things out I'm gonna do a thing in the middle so we can actually tell the difference let's see um, these are them blended out you can tell that um, the hourglass seems to have more coverage it seems to, to uh, kind of kind of blend better too it doesn't look as dry as the other one um, hourglass um, rare beauty so here we go five hours in since the time I put this foundation on and uh, I was gonna go run around and all that but I was able to postpone that but um, I did do a big cleanup and uh, all kinds of stuff so um, I did sweat a bit um, it was kind of hot at some point and then and then I got cold <laughs> So welcome to Michigan weather. But anyways, um, let's look at the foundation. Uh, I really don't like how it looks. And this is not to say that the foundations are, but it's how they act with my flaky skin. My skin is really flaking, like big time guys. So it's like really, really shows. So this side, it still uh, looks the worst out of both. Um, up here, starting here, you can still see most, mostly up here, you can see the um, um, the settling in the uh, flakes and in the pores. And then on the nose, it's quite, quite, quite bad. Both sides are, don't get me wrong, both sides are, but this side, if we were to make a distinction, this side is definitely worse than this side. Now the chin, now it's kind of, the coverage kind of went off or maybe just settled. Underneath the eyes, underneath the nose and the crevices, it's settled. And more on this side here than not, but this is kind of how like we kind of started. So this is five hours in. Um, underneath the eyes, I see that my mascara kind of smudged more on this side than this side. I did set um, the under eyes with the hourglass. No, I'm sorry, with the uh, Honest Beauty, not hourglass. Um, but I, I said the, um, the top and the underneath, you know, the under eyes, um, because I wanted to make sure that my um, makeup, eye makeup does not smudge, which it did. So let's just fix real quick this situation. It's not really that bad. It's just a tiny bit, but it's just enough to know that it is there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of smooth out and see if the oil is poking through kind of helps the situation i don't really see it all i see is like my face is kind of getting a little pinky on the chin though the chin looks much nicer oh yeah see that sometimes when the oils poke through it kind of calms down the flakes and it makes them look much better let's see you can tell you can not tell you can see my um my sunspots over here, even through the uh, bronzer, blush, and you know the foundation, of course. Um, let's see on this side. This one is less. It, they are less on this side, and I can only attribute it to the driving on my left side. You know, kind of pokes through. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. This one seems to be doing much much better on the nose with the uh, messing with it. Same here. Even here. Yeah, this one definitely looks better. I think it's because it feels more... Almost feels like it was a little more oily. Even though when I put it on, this one did not feel um, very... There's a... It's probably my... What do you call the cosas? The little flakes. This the cosas. All right, let's just finish up here. I 
can't really get in there. Mm, let's take the brush. Much better, okay? Stay the brush here just to be fair. Nope. See, it's a different wear. All right, now I'm gonna come in close. I'm gonna try to do the same, or like a bunch of stuff the same, but this one looks drier. I'm really trying here, guys. I'm trying to give the Rare Beauty a lot of, <laughs> a lot of tries. Now it's getting in my hair. Okay, I think this is the best that I can get. All right, let's let the, the skin calm down just a tiny bit because I'm a little pinky. Um, but I'm gonna come on close and then um, hopefully you can see. So uh, it looks definitely much better now that I messed with it, you know, now that my oils came through and also um, the foundation, you know, it, it definitely um, it gets, it doesn't get oily, but I guess it's just my oils I get through come through, but it, it gets to be more manageable. So it's not as matte or as it was when I first put it. Uh, if we can look at the nose, it definitely shows more texture here than it is here. Right here, it looks very, very good. Well, compared to what it was. <laughs> compared to what it was at the beginning. Um, I should have stopped moving. But if I look on the upper lip, This side looks definitely much better. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it's definitely much better. Same in here. And all of this where the flakes show, um, the uh, Hourglass did so much better than the um, uh, Rare Beauty. Well, Rare Beauty does hold onto oils though. So if you have oily skin that it's not really flaky, <laughs> then um, it will hold up really good because it definitely held up much better than it did this one. It is less coverage than this one though, comparing it, you know, side by side. Um, but it definitely um, it will hold on to better if you don't have flakes. So this is for the five five hours in. I'll be back at the end of the day and we'll see how it actually will look at the end. If you look at it like, I'm gonna go like this as if it seems like I'm a little dark. If you look at it like from like further down, um, it really doesn't look bad. But once you get close to the person and you see, you know, the flakies and all that, it's just like, mm, not really good. So, uh, that's what it is, you know, guys with, um, guys, girls with like flaky skin, that's just what we have to deal with, you know, it's a different, it's total different, um, application and look and all that and wear too. So yeah, I'm actually not mad that my oils poked through and I got a little sweaty so that it kind of looks better, but yeah, I'll see you in the, uh, last checkup at night. It is just after eight and I've had this makeup on since just after nine. So it's been on my face for like 11 hours. So honestly, um, even with all the shininess that's happening, um, it's actually looking the best that it's been because all of the flake is, well, most of the flakes have come down, have kind of absorbed oil and um, they're tamed. So it looks the best now. Um, now both sides are oily, we can tell that, but I feel like this side with um, um, hourglass foundation uh, looks the um, oiliest, especially around my nose area, like right up here, cheek and nose, um, forehead, eh. Kind of almost the same though if i look on the overall yeah i feel like the hourglass is more shiny more oily and the um rare beauty not as much but at the same time this one does not look so the um, hourglass does not look flaky almost at all um everything is kind of tamed kind of tucked in but if i look up here um the difference between the sides you can tell right up here that I've got something. It's like 
from the flakes it, it's still kind of gathering in there because the flakes is just attached to it so it's like <laughs> uh, protruding more and also around here it looks kind of the same so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of and, and the nose too but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of smooth out um, a little bit of these just to see what it does I did not mess with it since the last time I checked in with you guys, which was five uh, at the five hour check-in. So that was quite a while ago. Let's do the same thing here. Uh, I definitely have <laughs> not much coverage left, but the one that's left, it really looks nice. So it doesn't look like um, it's patchy, even with the, all of these oiliness, but that's the only thing I like about these, well, not the only thing, but that's what I like about this foundation is that both of them, is that when they come off, um, when the coverage comes off, it just comes really nicely. Besides the fact that I have, you know, the uh, flakes around my nose and, well, all my face, my whole face, um, now it's pinky. But besides the fact that that is happening and it's present there, um, it really is kind of holding on really, really nice. I think I need to shave because I see some fuzz. This one definitely shows it more than this one. Um, but the light, light is what actually shows me more. But yeah, even with me kind of wiping, you can still tell that it's quite shiny still. Uh, it's just how it's wearing. It's been 11 hours and it's been, huh, I'm not gonna say too hot, but I've done a lot of things today. I cleaned the house and um, I was actually by the oven as well and the stove. So um, all that, you know, taking in consideration, I think actually it doesn't look bad. But yeah, this is like, it's the best it's looked all day, man, which is kind of sad, you know. Uh, but, you know, at least, um, at least now you know what it does. This is my review. This is um, how it looks at the end of the day with the 11 hours worn and... Um, yeah, I don't really like to put foundations on or my makeup on and just have it last for just a few hours. Um, I like my makeup to last the whole day, so that's what I'm looking for, really. And uh, if you're looking for that, then stick around and we'll find something that works for all of us. So anyways, guys, I'm going to give you kind of a quick look, just to see how it actually did on top of the forehead where it actually had the, the really, really uh, flaky, especially up here around the hairline and all that. Um, just to kind of see a little bit of a difference or update. So anyways, uh, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that it helped you. And let me know, um, if you do have flaky skin, what works the best for you? I really want to know. So anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Up until then, you guys take care. Bye.